So next we're going to talk about Rainer, who is an iconic hero, and he's on the front of a box. He sweats a lot. He wears lip gloss. He's a leader of a Terran faction, the Raiders Raiders. He inspires his troop, and he has a whole arsenal behind him. These are some of the things that we brought to the table and knew we had to fulfill the fantasy on when we made him a hero in this game. I, I didn't know he had lip gloss. Anyway. Look so, at the box. <laughs> so... Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, Rainer is just a Terran in a marine suit, and he has to fight against the Zerg and the Protoss all day. So we adapted his playstyle to what he actually would perform in the universe. So we wanted to give him a very safe uh, playstyle, not only for uh, playing up to that fantasy, but also for the beginners who are going to likely play Rainer for their very first hero. So let's watch Rainer in action. All right, so here we have Rainer actually pushing down into the lane. And he's going to use his signature ability, Penetrating Round, to knock back the enemies and deal a lot of damage. As you see, as Rainer is shooting at the enemy, he's actually utilizing his trait lead from the front. And what that does is, whenever an enemy that's recently damaged by Rainer dies, his abilities will recharge a little bit faster. This gives skilled players the ability to uh, distribute this trait so that they can use their abilities more often. So for even a simple hero like Rainer, there's still a lot of hidden strategy and gameplay for pros. Here we have Arthas and Illidan trying to yank Rainer, and he uses his penetrator around once and twice to keep himself safe. As Matt touched upon, you know, one of the cool things in Heroes of the Storm is the ability to choose your heroic ability. Now, similar to the idea of designing heroes, we want to make sure that uh, the heroic abilities not only fit a, some sort of fantasy, but are also very unique and have a very, very, uh, uh, very focused sort of reason for their playstyle. So here we have Rainer going into the lane, and he's actually going to summon, call in a favor from his buddy Matt Horner to call in his flagship battlecruiser, the Hyperion. The Hyperion actually will deal lots of AoE damage, and you can see here it's going to take out this fortification in no time flat. However, as you can see from that shadow there, it's not ideal for fighting enemy players because they could just, you know, step out of the shadow. On the flip side, Rainer can summon in a pair of Banshees, you know, and this gives Rainer the ability to duel with enemy heroes all of a sudden. He's, he becomes a very powerful duelist, so these Banshees will come in and start pew-pewing the enemy. So here we have Rainer, just doing, minding those, his own business. Arthur comes in and tries to kill him. But Rainer is able to call in these Banshees and knock him back with Penetrator around. Now the tables have turned on Arthas. Now, you can see, as you can see here, the Banshees are actually flying units, so they can see into the shrubs that Arthas is trying to run away into, allowing Rainer and his Banshees to secure the kill. <laughs> 